Hello everyone and welcome. Thanks for joining us today. I am Matt, the Client Success Manager, and this is... Christina. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, just a quick reminder, as we're going along today, make sure and put your questions into the chat. We will be answering those live. Um, and then also, if you'd like to hit the subscribe button on YouTube, you can definitely follow along with all of our online education that we're putting out there and all our, our online information that we're working on here through the holiday season. You can also follow along on Instagram at WHCC Pro, or you can jump online and check out our brand new shiny website at WHCC.com. Yep. So we're going to talk about um, several things today, but we're going to focus product-wise on our acrylic wall panels as well as our acrylic blocks. We're going to go through some basic things, um, use cases of those, um, narrowing down your product line, deciding what you're going to offer to make it easy for your clients. We're going to talk a little bit about pricing and how to work on that as well as selling those and then how do you deliver those to your client, the different options for that. So without further ado, let's just jump right into these yeah, acrylic sounds panels. Good, Matt. All right, so I'm going to hand one of these to Christina to yep. hold on to. So let's talk use cases first. Um, I've got two that I'm pulling up here. So um, this is just two examples of several ways that you can use acrylic wall panels. Um, I've got a family, beautiful family portrait in my hand. Um, and then Christina has an awesome landscape image of a, of a waterfall mm -hmm. scene. Um, there's endless possibilities of what you can do with these. They fit perfect for a high school senior. They fit perfectly for family portraits, wonderful for wedding displays, um, for landscapes, for um, architectural pieces, for buildings. Th there's really no end to what you can do with these. Um, this is one of our newest products that we've added. We've had it for a little over a year now. Um, awesome um, selling point, awesome bang for your buck as far as retailing to your clients. Couple different ways to. Hey Matt, I just want to add to it. Like they're really eye catching, right? Anytime mm -hmm. we go anywhere and show them off, everyone's like, "Wow, what is that?" Right? So I think yep. too, like you said, it can fit any type of photography, um, yes. and really, it, it, it can be really versatile. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so to, let's break this down a little bit by details before we start getting into the ways that you can mount these and actually hang them on your wall. So each of the acrylic panels is going to start as a quarter inch piece of acrylic. Um, and that's going to be the same no matter what size you go with, except for the blocks. We'll talk about the blocks separately. And then it's going to have a fine art, high gloss print underneath of it. And then a piece of black styrene on the back is going to be, that's going to be consistent no matter how you choose to hang it or which mounting you choose. Now there are two different options, actually three. You could leave the acrylic with the black styrene and the print and not do any mounting on the back at all. And then you, you, put, would, it on like then you could put it on an easel or if you wanted to lean it on a mantle against a fireplace or something of that nature, you certainly could do that, but you're not gonna have an, a, a way to hang that at that point right. unless you framed it, okay? Um, but there are two different options that you can order from WHCC for actually hanging these on the walls. I'm gonna start with my favorite if that's okay yeah. because I like the inset metal frame the best. Now this is going to be um, inch and five sixteenths. It's actually going to be a metal frame that's going to be set in from the edge of the acrylic um, by an inch. So when this hangs on the wall, when you look from the side, you're going to see this really nice uh, matte finish black metal frame and then the edge of the acrylic. And then again, you're going to have your wire hanger on the back to hang it with. So that's my personal favorite. Now let's switch over to the float mount that Christina is hanging on to. I'm going to set this out so Connor can go ahead and zoom in on it. So this is going to be a piece of three quarter inch gator foam or gator block. It's going to have a metal hanger that is attached to that. Um, again, uh, for hanging, this is going to be three quarters of an inch where the inset metal frame is an inch and five sixteenths. So you're going to be a little bit less depth hanging from the wall with this one than what you would with the inset metal frame. Both are great options. I personally like the inset metal frame just because of the side view. And Matt, there is one other way that we haven't really shown, which we'll probably show some other time, but you can get it float framed. You in can. A float frame. Yes, and I'm glad you added that on. Now, the, if you're going to float frame these, um, it is something that we do need to quote out for you, but we do have the availability of doing this, or doing that, and they're beautiful. They really do. Yep. Um, they're, they're a very high-end product, very nice for your clients. So that is going to be our use cases, um, details about our acrylic panels. So let's talk a little bit about 
how do you decide how you're going to sell these to your clients? I think that's um, everyone's question to you, Matt, right? Yes. Like you get that all day long. I being do. Part of the client success manager here that how should they price someone? Are they in the right ball range, right? They would message you like, yep. hey, I sell it for this. Am I am I in the right track? Absolutely. You know, and, and this product is a high-end product. So I have a lot of people that I speak to on the phone or in person at trade shows that say, oh boy, you know, that is you know, X amount of dollars, how do I mark that up? We're gonna get into that in a little bit here, but for the acrylic panels, as far as your product offerings, this is an easy one, because you're, you're starting with essentially the same surfaces, you just have to decide on your sizing, um, and we go all the way up to 40, 60, we can do custom sizes on these as well, so sky's the limit on there, but basically you just need to decide on your mounting option and what you wanna offer there. So um, it's basically an easy choice, one or the other, or none. So, yep. okay. I think it's nice too because people sometimes get overwhelmed with the choices. They do. So, Absolutely. That's very nice. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about pricing. And I am very passionate about pricing. I think it's a way that we can really help on the client success team to really um, educate people as to what they can be charging for these high-end products. Yep. Um, so as an example, um, we're going to hit the overhead camera here. And if you want to download this form, you certainly can from the link that's going to be on YouTube. Um, also, if, if you don't or if you aren't able to do that, you can certainly reach out to customer service and we can get this sent out to you. So um, if you can read this, I have formulated this based on a 16 by 20 acrylic wall panel with the inset metal frame because again, I like that one. Um, so let's just start at the top here. So step one, your fixed costs. How much does the product cost? That is $125. Um, there is no shipping cost on that as long as you ship it with the free option. Um, I don't repackage that or I haven't paid for additional packaging on that through the lab. Other fees, I usually choose to have a color correction done um, just, just because I like doing that, so that's a dollar. So your total cost for your 16 by 20 wall panel with the color correction is $126. Your step two, taking into time in minutes how long it takes you to do the following things. How long does it take you to import from that session? How long does it take you to call that? How long does it take you to retouch that file? How long does it take to, to order it, you know, to jump onto Rose or into Studio and actually place an order for that? How long does it take to package once you get it from the lab? And I also take into consideration the time that it takes to unpackage it because they are packaged very time. well. Yep. And then how long does it take to deliver to your client? You know, if, if the client's coming to pick that up from you, is it a 10 minute thing? Is it a 15 minute, is it a handoff? How do you do that? Take those things into consideration. For what I do, I consider for the time to produce that acrylic wall panel, it takes me 43 minutes for one image. Um, it's kind of staggering when you start to really break these things down. Okay. And Matt, would you say a lot of the clients that we talk to and that you deal with personally, mm -hmm. when you have them run through this activity, you know, half somewhat already know, but there's a lot of people that don't even have no idea, right? Absolutely. You know, people look at the price of something and say, oh boy, $125 for that high-end piece, that's really inexpensive. Yep. Um, I can sell that for $200 and make $75 on it. What you're not taking into consideration is all these things that I just listed, and you've got a wonderful camera in your hand, I'm assuming. You've got yep. some online storage, or you've got a server on site, you've got insurance, you've got overhead, you've got all those things to, to think about, and you definitely don't want to be in photography to lose money. Right, okay? and this too is like a base, right? Like some people go up from here, right? Absolutely. But this is at least like a minimum of what you're suggesting of right. valuing their time. Yep, yep, and this is actually going to be more of like a PPA recommended. Um, uh, amount to upcharge. To sell. Yep, yep, exactly. So in our step three, it's going to ask you um, how much money do you need to make? Now, a lot of the conversations that I have with people who are really in the growth part of their business is they'd really love to make a hundred thousand dollars. Six figures is the a goal for is, the year. Yep, yep, exactly. So your gross revenue of a hundred thousand dollars. Now you're going to convert that into dollars per minute. Okay, so if you take um, 50 weeks, taking into consideration, you're going to take a couple weeks off for vacation because everybody loves to be <laughs> on vacation. Um, 50 weeks times 40 hours a week and then 60 minutes, I come up with a total of 83 cents per minute um, that I need to make basically as I am preparing a product. Okay, so um, with that being said, by the time that you go through um, the multipliers and also the, the markup, that acrylic panel, according to making $100,000 a year based on the time that it takes me to produce that and deliver it, that should be priced at $646.76.
which okay. you would say is pretty good. Like you would tell someone yep. that today, that's yep. a pretty good number to be in for absolutely. a 1620 acrylic print. Yep, absolutely. You know, and if you're watching this and, and your head is spinning and your eyes are rolling backwards into your head from all the numbers, I totally understand. A multiplier of two. Is another option. It's a really so good option. Yep. It costs us $125 from the lab. Nope, a uh, multiplier of two by the size. Oh, okay. A little confusing. So if you're gonna take 16 inches and 20 inches, multiply those together, that's gonna get you 320 square inches. Got it. Multiply that times two, that's $640. So between my multiplier of two and this method, we're only $6.76 Difference. Off. I'd call that a wash. Yeah, that sounds mm -hmm. pretty good. And I know too, we've talked to and had some podcasts with Jed and Vicki Toffer, yep. and their rule of thumb, they kind of use the uh, multiplier rule, right? Yep, yep. Um, they do. And then to add to that, when they're doing float framing on some of their large pieces or a frame in general, they're doing a multiplier of three. So then if you're looking at 320 square inches, you would multiply that times three, three if it's going to be float framed or in a frame, and then you're going to end up, you know, close to that thousand dollar mark. And I think that that is a really uh, respectable place for that 16 by 20 panel to be. And especially too with like acrylic <clears throat> prints, like you kind of talked in the beginning, you would put this in one of your higher end type yes. wall print packages versus like let's say a standout or something different, you maybe would put that in a different multiplier. Correct. I mean, you could keep it the same, but if you wanted it to keep it high, you would maybe use that multiplier of three then yep. to be in the higher end. Yep, absolutely. And that is going to vary based on your square inches. So when we talk about the image blocks, I wouldn't recommend a multiplier or two. You're gonna be too low on that. But for something that's got some size to it, if you do that, it's a quick thing that you can do right away. So. Yeah, and I think it's just helpful, Matt, because again, like every day you get questions of like, am I in the right area, mm -hmm. right? Everyone just wants to know, is this something my competitors are doing or what are they charging? Yep. Are you charging too low, too high? And if you're too high, that's okay too, right? Yep. Like Absolutely. people have different business models and that's awesome. They know right. their clients, right? Yep. Um, but you don't want to be too low and to be giving away free product. Absolutely. Um, like you said, making $75, somebody like, oh, I made $100, but really how much time did it actually take them yeah. to make that? More than likely, instead of making $75, you'd have gone backwards $200. Right. Um, the, and, and another, I'm glad you brought that up because another thing that we can kind of wedge into this, and if you're just watching some of our series versus all of them, um, Gary Hughes said in a webinar, he said, you know, there's gonna be your people. There's gonna be the shut up and take my money people. And those are your people. Like that, yeah. that's who you work with. Yeah. And if somebody calls and says, um, you know, how much do you charge for this? And you tell them and they go, oh my goodness. And they fall off their chair and the phone hits the ground. That's okay. It's yep. okay to not have every single person be your person. You mm -hmm. know, um, it's just like in relationships. You know, you've got your people, and um, I like the way that Gary put that: the shut up and take my money people. And that's mm -hmm. those are the people you want. So let's talk about selling. Okay, mm -hmm. um, now that you've got your pricing, selling, in my opinion, with an acrylic panel, those things sell themselves. And the way that you make mm -hmm. that happen is to put it up in your space or if you don't have a space to put it in, take one with you, okay? Um, if you hand somebody this acrylic panel, they are going to be blown away. The way the light comes in and comes back out of it, it's a beautiful piece, um, very high-end feeling. It's got a great weight to yeah, it. Yeah, they're heavy. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, and it is by far one of our most popular um, uh, products. We had so many requests that so we did add it to our product lineup. So the way that I would say to recommend to sell this, show it every single time show it to your clients. Um, You're right, this is an easy one to is. show and hold and, yep. and you understand how beautiful it is. Not that other Correct. ones aren't, but it's just an easy, it sells itself. Yep, exactly. So I'm gonna hand this over to you mm -hmm. and then we are going to um, bump on to acrylic blocks and we'll yep. come back at the end and touch on product delivery because that's gonna encompass both of these products. So the acrylic blocks like the acrylic panels are one of our newer products. Um, the acrylic block has skyrocketed in popularity yeah. um, since we launched it. They are available in four sizes if you wanna make some notes here. Some notes. Um, they are available in a four by six that can of course be vertical or horizontal, a five by seven, eight by eight, and eight by 10, okay? Um, there's gonna be a test on that later, so make sure and write those down. Um, so let's just talk about the way that these are made. Now this is going to be the same type of construction as the acrylic wall panel, but you don't have to put an option on the back for hanging on the wall because these will be something that you will put onto a ledge, onto a desktop, 
um, on, a, on a mantle, um, whatever you have that's going to display small prints well, that's where these are going to appear. Let's talk about how they're put together. So we're going to start off with a one inch thick, I'm going to turn this so Connor can sneak in on it here. So it's going to be a one inch thick piece of acrylic. That's how they're all going to start, doesn't matter if it's 4x6, 5x7, 8x8 or 8x10. Okay. Then you're going to move on to the high gloss fine art print next. And then behind that is going to be the piece of black styrene, which you can see on the back. It's going to give it a really nice, clean look. If it is standing on a desk, if you do see it from the back, it looks very contemporary, very modern because it's clean black. All right. Um, when we were talking about pricing, I said your multiplier or two on these probably wouldn't be something you'd want to do. I wouldn't recommend that. If you're going to be looking at an 8x10, for example, you know, that's going to be 180 square inches times two. Um, I, I don't think, oh sorry, that's going to be 80 square inches um, times two is 160. I think that's too low for this product. When we've been talking to people out in the industry, we've heard of people pricing these 8x10s upwards of $500, 549 595 um, It's a very nice high-end product that you just can't go down the street and get. Mm -hmm. So, And that is on the higher end, right? Some of our top mm -hmm. people who sell really well or who are good at selling have a higher end studio sell yep. it for that much. Um, yep. Which is pretty awesome to strive for, I think, to, to hit that amount. Absolutely. Now another idea that we can kind of pitch at you here is selling these in pairs. So let's just pretend that this is from the same session um, and your 8x10 could be the family portrait, mm -hmm. the 5x7 could be the kids, and maybe even the 4x6 could be a really cute image of the parents together or the kids being silly or an outtake or something. Always think in multiples. The wall groupings are so popular right now. Yeah. You know, you watch design shows or Joanna Gaines, she talks about wall groupings constantly. Think in, in multiples. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a better way to do it. People want to have multiple images, so find ways for them to be able to purchase that from you. And we have a little secret to share with you here today. So we have a new product that's going to be coming in a couple weeks. Yes. And it is very cool. Um, and you can't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. So uh, i got a note here not to touch these. So I'm waiting for my sample to pop up to me. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to set this out here and we'll make sure that we can zoom in on it. So this is the next level or next option available for the acrylic blocks. Now you can see the Merry Christmas at the bottom here. I'm just going to take my pen to make sure that you can see that. That is actually etched into the front of that acrylic block. So I'm just going to rotate it here a little bit so you can see that that actually is on the face of the block and not on the print behind it. And I've got another couple examples. Oh, that was pretty good there so you can see the depth of that. So literally we just saw these um, in the last couple days and they are incredible. I want to grab some more of that one, yeah. that red one. Looks really oh yeah, cool yeah. Well, that's the one I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Let's do this red one. I really like that one. So these are, um, like I said, going to be available in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for an email launching these um, and you'll be able to find out more information about them on the website. Yep. And Matt, just so you know too, just when we first launch them, we will probably have set designs. So kind of the yep. ones you see here, if you kind of notice, these are a lot of our foil designs that are available for our cards. Yep. Um, so we'll probably launch with those options. So some of these sayings that you see out here that are currently now. Um, kind of for the moment and kind of timeless ones. Yep. And then hopefully in the new year, you'll be able to like actually um, do some personal engraving and stuff like that. But for now, cool. this fall, we're launching with some of these really fun sayings in the in the foils that we kind of yeah. make that. And I, I love them. And remember, um, as we're going along here today, to put your questions into the chat as well. If you have questions right. about these sizes, whatever they happen to be, we're happy to answer them for you as we're going along here. So let's talk about um, product delivery. Okay, so as you're going into the holiday season, a lot of people, especially after 2020, are choosing to drop ship. You yep. can drop ship any of these items straight to your client. They will come directly to them in a non-branded, um, no invoice inside, nothing that's going to attach that back to yep. WHCC. So you can, as um, your time is getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter, and like we were talking about how valuable those minutes are, 
very important mm -hmm. to think about this time of year. You can drop ship those right to your client, or you can certainly ship them to yourself, repackage them, and do a do hand delivery, delivery on mm -hmm. those as well. So um, acrylics are definitely one of my favorite things. Yep. Um, the acrylic wall panels, the the image blocks. I'm super excited about the new engraving that's going to be on them. And make sure if you do have questions, put them in the chat. Follow us along on YouTube, um, drop us a, a hello on Instagram, or check out our awesome new website. Also a really cool thing on our website, if you wanna set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with customer service, you can do that. Um, you can go and set an appointment based on the, the content that you wanna learn. Yep. You talk to a customer service rep for 30 minutes at a time, and that time is yours, yep. which is awesome, so. I think the only thing I'd wanna add, Matt, right, is, um, Besides the etching, since they're not out yet, but they should be out soon, your advice to anyone that you talk to right now is <laughs> what? Plan ahead. So order now? Yeah. So the, the thing that you really need to consider going into the holidays this year in, in 2021 is we're all living in a very different world. Um, White House is being affected by the things that everybody is being affected by. So um, supply chain things, um, shortages of things, all the things that you hear about in the news all the time. So setting the correct expectations with your clients, getting the orders in early, making sure you plan ahead is going to be absolutely crucial for this holiday season. In the next because, few weeks, I would yeah, say, right? Absolutely. And we want you to have a great holiday season. We want you to get to the end um, with some relaxing time, sitting by the fire, enjoying a glass of eggnog or whatever your drink of choice would be and not sliding in on fire you know <laughs> uh, at the very end here so we wish you nothing but the best thank you for joining us today if you have questions feel free to put them in the chat or hit us up through customer service we're glad to answer any questions that you have so check us out tomorrow we'll be back again with another product and another live for you so come back and see us then